Yo, what's going on guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in another video today. And today, the Oklahoma City Thunder are trading for Rudy Gay, Ty Ty Washington, and Yusman Garuba in a trade that sends Patty Mills to the Atlanta Hawks. And in return, the Oklahoma City Thunder get two Rockets, two Houston Rockets former first round picks. Yusman Garuba, who was the 21st overall pick in the 2021 NBA draft, who averaged three points and four rebounds per game on limited time, limited playing time with the Rockets this season, also shot 41%. For for a three, you know, for a for a center who did not have a good history of shooting three-pointers. For shooting 41% for Garuba like he did this season was really good. So that's a good addition for OKC. Then Ty Ty Washington, the 29th overall pick in the 2022 NBA draft, averaged five and two this season in only 31 games for the Houston Rockets and did not play a lot due to Steven Silas being addicted with Deshaun Nix. As a Rockets fan, it was horrible, but thank God the Rockets did wave Deshaun Nix. Ty Ty Washington is going to be great for the Thunder, although I don't think he will play much often because the Thunder did just draft Kassan Wallace uh, with the 10th overall pick. So I do doubt that. I really do uh, doubt that that Ty Ty will play a lot. Um, or man, who knows? Maybe maybe Kassan goes over to the two or Ty Ty goes to the two. And then they also get Rudy Gay, who averaged five points with the Jazz this season, a really experienced veteran. I think he's like 38 or 39 years old. He's one of the with, – with Udonis Haslam, I believe with Udonis Haslam retiring, Rudy Gay, in fact, is the oldest player in the NBA now. I am about 99% sure on that. So Rudy Gay adding some veteran experience. And they also get a second-round pick. With the second round pick with what they get from the from the Hawks, they, they have thirty five draft picks over the next seven years. That is just crazy, crazy. Um, give give a hell of a props to Sam Presti with some of the work he's done um, over the last couple of years with getting draft picks and. I like the Rudy Gay move as well because they're adding in veteran experience. They've added in guys like Victor Lundipo, Davis Bertans, and Rudy Gay. I know those guys don't look like they'll bring them a lot of effort, but if you look like a team, look at a team like the Denver Nuggets, they say that their vet, the, their veteran experience guys like Ish Smith, Jeff Green, and DeAndre Jordan were a big part of their team, and that's something the Thunder didn't really have last season was veteran experience in the NBA, and that is something they have now. Before, they only had one player over 24 years old on their roster, and that was Kenrich Williams. And I'm starting to think Kenrich Williams might not be on the roster next season. So they needed to add in some players that were older. They have a good roster. It's not like the Houston Rockets where they need, you know, severely needed to add in some you know, mature adults. It's not like the Thunder needed that, but it would be really good for OKC to add in some vets with the young guys, and that's what they've done with Rudy Gay, Victor Oladipo, and Davis Bertans. So I like that Rudy Gay move. I know he's at the end of his you know career, but uh, still a solid player, and he's, uh, he's a really good veteran. And then with Ty Ty and Yusman, there are a couple other young uh, young guys are out of the roster, and then the second round pick, 35 draft picks over the next seven years. Um, clear winner in this trade is the OKC Thunder. A plus for the Thunder, and... <laughs> D plus for the for the Hawks. I don't like this deal for the Hawks. Uh, Patty Mills is solid. He's averaged like seven and a half points per game, but I don't think this. I think this was they gave up a lot for him, and I I, I don't. I think they knew that. But using your thoughts on the trade. That's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out.